Hey brave boys and brave girls, Jake here with the Brave and the Boys, and we are back after our longest hiatus yet, so I'm giving you what your favorite kind of video is, a massive haul. So, this is longer than a month, this is closer to about a month and a half, but I'm very excited to show you all of these books that I got. I had a lot of amazing events, I got married, I got a promotion, and life is going fantastic, so thank you for bearing with us. So before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Organic Price Books. You can use our code BRAVEBOYS to save $2 on one or two books. Or if you want to get a massive haul like this, you can use the code BRAVEBOYS SIT to save 5%. Now that all that's out of the way, let's dive into this crazy haul. As everybody on Collected Edition Comic Book YouTube knows, I am the premier Usagi fan. Sorry, Omnibuddy. Sorry, Omar. Just kidding. So... For those of you that know, I did purchase the Fantagraphic Special Edition from Organic Price Books. I read it with Bunk a few weeks ago, and I loved it, and I was like, you know what, that's really cool, you know? Maybe that's enough Usagi for me, because there's just so much out there, and I, I, it seemed impossible to collect. And then, one night when I was in class, and I wasn't paying attention, I was on Facebook, I saw a new friend of mine on Facebook do a listing selling off Grass Cutter, and volume one of the hardcover. Now, for those of you that don't know, these are super limited edition. There's only a, a certain amount of them. They're signed by Stan Sakai and they're super rare. And I was like, no, I shouldn't do it, I shouldn't do it. And then Omnibuddy commented down below and said, holy deal, or something crazy like that. And I was like, okay. And I was super tempted. So I was going back and forth. We were talking with each other and he said, you know, you seem like a new comic book fan. I'll give you a little bit of a discount. And I was like, okay, I'm new to Usagi, but I'm not a new comic book fan. I actually have a YouTube channel. I sent him my videos and he was like, oh my God, like, and we started, you know, getting along and he gave me a killer deal. So I collected this one and this one. Then I Googled how much versions two through nine and legends of this costed. And I was like, oh shoot, my wife is never going to let me spend thousands of dollars collecting the rest of them. So I can convinced her through, you know, comic book math that I would actually be saving money if I bought volume two and the rest of the volumes. Volume three is a little different. That was given to me by Jordan as a bachelor party gift. We went to the comic book store and he bought himself some comics and I was like, what? It's my bachelor party. You're not going to buy me anything. And he said, wouldn't you rather me buy you multiple volumes online as opposed to just this one volume at cover price in the store? And I said, no, I want it now. So volume three, thank you, Jordan. Volumes two and up to eight, thank you wife. And these two volumes, thank you Joseph Vu. Up next, we're moving on to what you're all here for, that's the DC books. So first off, we have Absolute V for Vendetta, and yes, I actually read this! I do read some of my books. So this was given to me to do a review on for Organic Price Books, but then I left for my wedding, so I still owe him this video. I'll do it soon. Um, but it was really good. I will say though, my only complaint with it is some of it is written in a very thick British accent or British vernacular. Some of it was like a little hard to understand, but it was super good. I had never seen the movie, knew nothing about it, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Then we move on to Swamp Thing Green Hell. I don't know much about this other than it is one of Omni Dogs favorite books of the year so this will be one of my next one it looked like a really good spooktober book and i'm very happy with it. then we got green lantern core this has always been a really highly talked about and praised run so i'm super excited to see the core side of it because the Jeff johns one were really hal jordan's focused and this would be you know more kilowog and the other characters so i'm excited to read that it shows you how long it's been since i've done a haul video because then these are getting older and older now we have batman under the red hood deluxe edition you guys know i'm a batman junkie um, I love Red Hood. The Under the Red Hood movie is one of my all-time favorite animated books. I've never actually read this story, so I'm super excited to dive into it. Then we have what is my current read, Batman the Adventures Omnibus. So, little story about this. This delivered while we were in Hawaii, and we get home, package is gone. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, I thought it was supposed to be there. But I, I, I go to and I, I uh, chat JP from OPB and I'm like, yo, that was a lot of letters I said randomly. I chatted JP from Organic Price Books and I said, hey man, I can't find the box anywhere. And he said, no worries, man. Let's see if we can, you know, we'll ship you another one. And then before he does that, we get a, like our doorbell rings and this random lady shows up with my omnibus. And she said that she lived a couple streets over and the box wasn't there. The book was there with like the sticker inside because they actually put your address inside the box also. And she showed up. So someone must have stole the package opened it up and not realized it's one of the best omnis ever and they just chucked it so 
Shout out to Organic Price Books for putting your address inside the box. Now we're gonna move on to one that was a whale, a little mini whale. We have second chances. So this one was fun because when I purchased this, it was because my wife was having a little sister's bachelorette party in Vegas to go see Carrie Underwood. And she sent me a photo, like I think to make my heart drop, it was her holding the bags of things she'd purchased, but she was also holding all of both of her sister's bags also. So it looked like she completely balled out. And I was like chatting uh, my friends in the Jabronis chat, like Omnidog and Taylor Talks Comics and Mitch and all those guys. And I was like, yo, I get one book for every bag she's holding. And they said, yep. So second chances, this book goes for like a hundred. I got it for 50, a lot to spend on a trade, but it fits perfectly with my Cape Crusader paperbacks. Very happy to have that. Robin and Batman. This is a Jeff Lemire. I think you can tell from that art style. Um, know nothing about it other than it's supposed to be really good. Jeff Lemire writes some amazing things. Excited to dive into that. Then we have one that might be a mistake. I was putting the pieces together to do a Lazarus Planet reading order, and then apparently Lazarus Planet was terrible, so this might stay on the stack of shame for a while. I'm trying to go through these quickly. Now we have Superman Red and Blue. This one I got completely bunk baited. That's when Bunk Master B on comics baits me on a book because Daniel Warren Johnson has a short story in this one. So uh, it's a collection of short stories and anthology of Superman tales, and they highlight the colors of red and blue. Um, really cool. Read the first storyline. It was super depressing and like not the vibe I'm used to for Superman stories, but I can't wait to get the, the Daniel Warren Johnson part. Coming up next is another one I've actually read. According to Tom King, it was one of the best things he's ever written that nobody ever read. And it's a huge shame because I think this story was awesome. So Gotham City Year One kind of gives the origin of how Gotham came from this like crown jewel city where there was no crime, no murder. You know, it was like a super fancy ritzy city into the Gotham City that we know and love. It kind of tells a Batman Catwoman story but you know, several generations before. So there's no actual Batman, no actual Catwoman, but there's a lot of these recurring motifs and symbolisms. There's owl symbolism, there's cat symbolism, there's Batman symbolism, and it was fantastic. It kind of like, it, it answered questions to things I'd never really known, like the origin of Crime Alley or Ace Chemicals, but it doesn't like hit you over the head. It's not like George Lucas going back and answering questions we never wanted to know. It's its own standalone story and it's awesome. and Everyone should read it. Then we got World's Finest number two and Batman and Robin. These I'll probably do a World's Finest reading order on because I think this is volume two and then you read this one. I don't know much about it other than World's Finest number one was a heck of a lot of fun. I love Mark Wade, and I'm very excited to read these because these just feel like, at least the one I read, quintessential DC. And oh, this is our last one. Batman and Robin Eternal. So Jordan's always lorded his Batman Eternal omnibus over me. And I'm going to be honest, there was times I'd add an expensive out of print whale one to my cart. And I kept saying, no, you got burned on a bunch of out of print Marvel Omnis. Just be patient. And then they announced this one. And I was like, okay, if they're coming out with Batman and Robin Eternal, I should pick this up because an Eternal omnibus announcement can't be far off. And I was right, so shouts out that. I heard this one wasn't as good as Batman Eternal, and I probably can't read this until the Eternal Omnibus comes out, but I'm very happy to own this because I wanna own everything Batman post-crisis. Okay, so this brings us to the end of the DC section. There will be more DC books in here, but those were a special gift, and I need to bring a special guest to help me with them. This is kind of awkward. That's better. Better. Hey everyone, it's Jake again, and here is my lovely wife. Hello. Give them a wave. Show off your wife t-shirt. Okay, so yes, it looks awkward I'm kneeling, but that's because in the last video, which you can watch here, my girlfriend opens my hall. Everyone gave us a hard time in the comments that I had my girlfriend standing and I was in the chair. You know why? She's shorter. Framing people, this is a professional operation. Okay. So the reason she's here is because these books, I mean, aren't, well, I guess now that we're married, all my books are ours and hers, you know, but these books specifically were organic price books and Bat Daddy David's wedding gift for us. So first off, we're gonna read a little note that was written to the both of us. To Jess and Jake, who's first? Uh -huh. To Jess and Jake, congratulations on your union. While most of the books are for Jake, huh? 
Bat's growing collection, I added two special books for both of you to enjoy, Bat Daddy David. So I think Spider-Man was the one for us both to enjoy? Okay, so let's look through them. Up first, we have the Superior Spider-Man. Do you know what makes the Superior Spider-Man different from a regular Spider-Man? Look, do you see the front, like the cover? Do you see uh, kind of like that, all those things coming out of him, around him? <laughs> kind of. So, do you remember the Spider-Man movie with the guy and the octopus arms, Doc Ock? In this Spider-Man story, that's who Spider-Man is. So I don't know anything other than that, but I'm excited to read it. It's supposed to be amazing, and I think they just recently, they're bringing back the Superior Spider-Man, so I'm excited to read it now that they're bringing it back. Grab the next one. Do you remember who that is? Gwen. Spider Gwen. So, do you remember uh, what movie she's from? The Spider Universe. Uh, Cross the Spider Universe. Cross the Spider Verse. Yes. So this is the second one. There is a first one that's out of print. Apparently, they couldn't sell that book fast enough before, but after the movie, it like sold out and now it's a whale. But this is the second one. Very excited to read it. I heard it's really good. And out of the covers, I think that's the more boss cover, according to Octodad. So you might even read this. I mean, you have a, didn't we get you a Spider Gwen ears? Yes, we did. Hold on, pause, cut. We found it, we found the Spider Gwen ears. <laughs> Worth it, right? Worth cutting? Jordan shaking his head no, apparently not. Okay, up next we have Karma. I can't open this book because Jess works with children and we don't want to get her fired. But yes, very erotic. Then we have Swing. Swing is a spinoff from everyone's favorite book, Sunstone. Jordan has every copy of Sunstone, which is a slice of life romance story about a couple trying to regain their sexual energy from the beginning of the relationship by swinging with other couples. Oh, I thought it was like an actual swing. <laughs> okay, next one, one she can read. We got the flash. Ooh. Now we're gonna cut into her flash ears. Okay. I have a flash shirt. You get your flash shirt and I get this off. Heck yeah. And then we have, what is this? The Phantom Stranger Omnibus. Heck yeah. You want to open a part of the Phantom Stranger? It's not as fun as Sunstone. Look at how old this book is. It's, it's like my oldest omnibus. For you guys know, I'm not the, I don't like, you know, pre-crisis. Look, he's like a ghost and he has a hat and he's kind of God. Perfect for Spooktober, Phantom Stranger, the official book of Spooktober. And lastly, we got Blackest Night. So what the Blackest Night is, is essentially all the Green Lantern cores of the different colors, green, blue, orange, pink, they all have to fight against the Black Lantern. So basically any character that had died in DC continuity, which is not really that interested. They're, they come back as zombies and they have Green Lantern powers, but they're black instead of green. And it's really cool. So this is double dipping a little bit with Green Lantern uh, number two by Jeff Johns, but this is the full run and I'm trying to say that this means I won't have to buy the Absolute that's out of print, but I'm probably still gonna buy the, the Absolute. Because I love Absolutes. The other day- Did you have it? I was in my Jabroni's message and I was like, should I buy this Absolute Blackest Night? And uh, Omni Dog goes, no, just buy the Omni. And I go, I have the Omni. And he goes, of course you do. You want another cat? <laughs> So yes, um, which book are you most excited to read since this was our wedding gift? Gwen. Heck yeah. Spider Gwen, you heard it here first. Coming up next, Jess's review of Spider Gwen. Up next is the section I don't know how to categorize. So these are three random ones that don't fit into the other sections. Last Ronin is actually the first Turtles book I've ever read. Why did I buy it? Because not too long ago, they announced that they're making this gritty, cool PS5 game based off this book. And I felt like, you know what, instead of jumping into a Turtles collection where there's like 60 books, how about I start with Last Ronin? So apparently it's supposed to be this cool story of like a futuristic New York and there's only one turtle left and it's supposed to be really badass, really samurai, but kind of like futuristic. So I'm super pumped. This one is another bunk bait. So uh, four kids walk into a bank. It's supposed to be this amazing story about four kids who 
go to rob a bank. I don't know much about it other than it's supposed to be amazing. This will be one of the next ones that I read, but any book that Bunk tells me I should read, I almost always buy. Up next, we have a birthday gift for my co-host. So my birthday was all the way back in February, but Jordan was like, nah, I got you. What's the next Omni that you need? And I said, Captain America, because I'm slowly collecting here. I have one, two, and three. This is four. So if he got me number four. That means all I need is number five, which is coming out in a couple weeks, I think. And then I'm going to do a huge Brew Baker a thon. Is that a word, Brew Baker a thon? Uh, so I'm super excited. I don't own any other Captain America, and I've heard nothing but fantastic things about this run. And another time, I was patient, didn't buy the whales and I cannot wait to read all five of them. And that's gonna bring this video to a close. If you're still watching, I wanna give a huge thank you. I wanna say smash that like button, comment down below what your favorite book here is or what I should read next. I wanna say one more time, if you wanna pick up any of these books, you can go to our sponsor, Organic Price Books. There you can save $2 with the code BRAVEBOYS on one or two books. Or if you're buying three or more, you can save 5% with the code BRAVEBOYSSIT. I will earn a small commission, but that helps make these crazy haul videos possible. So one last time, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Smash that like button. Join our Discord. Buy our merch. And most importantly, keep reading and stay brave.